Welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Drew Martin, joined by Steve Merrill and Tony Mejia of wagertalk.com. Next up here in the Midwest region, we're talking Loyola Chicago versus Georgia Tech, the 8-9 matchup here, guys. Missouri Valley Conference versus the ACC. Steve, we're seeing 126 being the total here. Loyola Chicago, they made the run a couple years ago, having to lay two and a half here against the ACC champions. You liking anything Loyola Chicago versus Georgia Tech? Yeah, I was really, you know, really disappointed when I saw the brackets on Sunday night, uh, Drew, that Loyola Chicago drew an eight seed. Uh, they were my dark horse coming in. A few years ago, I did several national radio and TV shows leading up to the tournament. A few different ones asked me for a dark horse Final Four. That would, and the criteria was they had to be a double-digit seed. And obviously, no one really thinks a double-digit seed is going to make the Final Four. But I used Loyola Chicago the year they did it. And what I liked about them then is what I like about them again this year. Good slowdown, half-court defensive team. In fact, if you look at adjusted defensive efficiencies, they've been either first or second, basically, for the past month here, finishing out the season. Uh, they're first in some ratings. Others have them second, depending on what criteria you use. But either way, basically the best defensive team in the country. And they're an eight seed. And they were drastically underseeded in this tournament. And what's even worse is they now have to play a one in the round of 32. If they get by the ACC champs, Georgia Tech, and obviously the odds makers are telling you this is a competitive game. Uh, Loyola only a two and a half point favorite. My power ratings make them about a two, two and a half point favorite in this game. So the line's where it should be. Does look like a good spot, though, for Loyola. Not only are they a good half court, slow down defensive team, the type of teams I like to use in the postseason, but they're catching Georgia Tech at a pretty good time. Uh, Georgia Tech, the big upset of Florida State last Saturday night to win the ACC tournament, had to play several games in a row without rest. Uh, Loyola will be the fresher team here. And hard-nosed defense, you just wonder if Georgia Tech's going to have their A game. I know it's an NCAA tournament game. Everyone's excited. But it's so hard to bring your A game each and every week. You almost wonder if they used up a little bit too much energy last weekend against Florida State and the other ACC teams. Um, they did catch a break, though, not having to play the game against Virginia. So they did not have to play all in a row. They did get that Friday off. Uh, but Loyola's a team, if they win here, could be dangerous, even against a one seed. Just wish they were seated a little bit higher like they deserved. I think the committee really screwed Loyola Chicago. And it's surprising. You would think they want them to make a Cinderella run again. Maybe they don't. You know, the networks don't like these Cinderella teams. They like them on the opening week, but they don't like them once the Sweet 16 and the Elite Eight starts. It's not good for ratings, actually. And I think they're trying to get Loyola out because this is the team that could be very dangerous with that slowdown half-court style. I uh, just wish they'd gotten a little bit of an easier opponent in round one. You know, Tony, Steve makes some great points here. I mean, Loyola Chicago likely being underseeded. And, uh, heck, we're seeing an ACC champion in the 8-9 game. I, I don't ever remember seeing that either. So you can make the argument both of them are underseated, in my opinion. Uh, are you liking anything here? Loyola Chicago, Georgia Tech, side total? I mean, I'm loving that Steve is saying that the networks hate Sister Jean. That's, that's really <laughs> controversial take right there. But it, 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 it's probably true. Uh yeah, Cinderella's are only good for that first weekend. So you can talk about them at the proverbial water cooler on Monday, and then you want them gone, especially teams that play like the Ramblers, uh, considering that they really slow the pace. They work that clock. Porter Moser is one of the best coaches in the country. Um, you know, his, his best player is a guy that's lost a lot of weight over the last uh, couple of seasons, and now he's a lot sleeker, uh, Cam Krautwig, uh, and it, it is a center you almost want to see this team make a run, but the fact that they drew a Georgia Tech team that, like, I really, you know, I got to be honest, I, I thought they would lose to Florida State by double digits coming off of a real tight game against Miami uh, in their first ACC tournament game. They only had to play two to win the whole title uh, because of the Virginia uh, issue. But the, the bottom line is, is that they were able to get it done, and Alvarado actually injured himself in the Miami game, uh, I saw that as a really nice angle for the championship game, and it didn't come to fruition at all because he was able to game right on through it. And that kid's a, a wonderful leader. Uh, Moses Wright is the ACC Player of the Year, despite the fact that he has no post moves. It's wild. Uh, and, and they have veteran wings that can really play. So I think the winner of this one has a chance to go on a run. Uh, I think we're, we're seeing a race to 60 here. So I'm probably leaning towards the under. The pace is going to be probably the slowest of a first round game in the entire tournament. Uh, and uh, you've got gamers on both sides that like you can trust within the final two minutes of the game. So uh, I don't want to be Switzerland here, but uh, I would say that the team that has the ball last wins. And in that situation, if you're going to give me points for the team that just beat Florida State, a top 10 team in this tournament, 
uh, I'm going to take Georgia Tech. But the best play is the under. All right, like in the under 126 is what we're seeing it at now, guys. Reminder here, we got a coupon code MM50. That's MM50 at checkout. Wagertalk.com takes $50 off the March Madness package. Check out Tony, Steve at Wagertalk.com. And guys, enjoy the 8-9 matchup for the right to likely play Illinois in the 8-9 versus 1 in the second round. Enjoy the tournament, guys.